Hello guys, welcome back to Yellow App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use ClipDrop AI. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So you might be wondering what well, is ClipDrop here. So Clip, ClipDrop here is a tool wherein you can utilize the power of AI to edit your images. So there's going to be different features here that you can access, but first things first is we need to access their website. So go ahead and open up any browser, go to clipdrop.co, and from here what we need to do next is we need to sign in or sign up. So if you have a creator account, you could go ahead and click on the sign in slash sign up button here at the top right. And from here, you could manually enter email address here and click on continue to basically proceed to sign in. Or you could use the following accounts here. So you could use your Google, your Facebook, or your Apple account for you to basically sign in into the platform itself. But in this case, I want to use my Google account here. So let's just choose this one. And from here, we need to choose our Google account. So let's just wait for it to pop up and choose our Google account. And once we've chosen that, it's going to start the or initiate the process of us signing in. But once signed in, you should be able to use the tools that they have. So this is going to be the main or homepage for clipdrop.co which includes a lot of tools for you to use. So just scroll down a bit and you should be able to see different tools that you could access within their website. Now in this case we have swap here which in this case you'll be able to basically swap people. So if you have an image that you want to swap a, spa uh, a face for you can use this feature here. Now they also have the stable diffusion excel turbo so real time text to image generation. So if you're looking for to basically generate images uh, from AI well you could use this service here. Now we also have the replace background here which in this case you just need to enter a prompt and you'll be able to replace a background of that specific image. Now you also have the remove background option which in this case from the name itself it's going to remove the background of that image. Now we also have the cleanup here which includes removing any unnecessary objects that you want to remove from an image. Now we also have the uncrop here which actually expand images like for example you have a very small portion of that image and you want to expand that and basically add more details or make it a lot bigger while well, using uncrop here is a great tool. Now we also have the image upscaler. Now from the name itself, it actually upscales your images by two times or four times in seconds. So it can remove noise and recover beautiful uh, aspects into that image itself. Now we also have the stable doodle here, which in this case it actually converts your doodles into actual images, which is something really cool. Like if you want to create something or you're looking for a very specific image or uh, something that you want to use. So using this one could basically help you draw your images that you want to get. Now we also have the reimagine re Excel. So you create multiple variants of an image with stable diffusion. So in this case, you'll be able to make a variants of a specific image that you want to create. Now in this case, how do you actually start using them? Well, using them is actually quite easy. So in this case, maybe we want to use the stable diffusion Excel tool right here. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is just enter our prompt. So maybe I want to say rabbit in a field. So in a field. So in this case, you could go ahead and just press on enter and basically proceed with your uh, image. So in this case, you sometimes going to be verification at the bottom uh, right here. So make sure that you actually uh, verify yourself. In this case, this is going to be a first generation. So if you want to add other aspects into it, so maybe I want to say running rabbit here. So just to switch things up. And as you can see, it's going to update real time on my screen here. As you can see, if you want to edit this one, just click on edit at top right here and you will be able to use other tools, other features within the platform itself. So we already have this image here. You could use different aspects on it. Like for example, re imagine upscale, relight, and a lot more. Now, if you want to download your image, just click on download at the top right here. And as you can see, we were able to download our image and open it up. So let me, let me just open it up. And as you can see, it is the image that we just created. Now, in this case, how do we uh, fully utilize this one? Like for example, we want to edit this one and maybe we want to reimagine it. So just click on reimagine here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to upload an image that we want to basically use. But if you already have an AI image that you used before, it's going to start basically using that image and you'll be able to get your friends. But I do have to warn you, sometimes the speed itself is kind of going to be kind of slow. So depending on the how the server is actually working right now, it actually uh, loads images uh, depending on their server. So also if it actually verifies if you're human at the bottom right here Make sure that you verify yourself 
And as you can see, this is the first regenerated image based from our first image here. Now, if you want to regenerate another image here, so maybe you want to reimagine re this one, just click on your reload button here. It's going to re uh, basically reimagine another, another image for you. Now, let's go to the other tools here. So maybe we want to click on the tools here and maybe we want to use the uh, other sections here. So maybe I want to use here the stable doodle here. So I want to draw something. So maybe I want to draw a cat here. So let's just draw something here. So I'm going to draw a circle here, add some eyes into it. And I want to basically add a nose on it. So let me just finish drawing this one. Now in this case, once you've drawn that, you could go ahead and click on the style here. So if you want to add a specific style into your drawing here, you could go ahead and try them. So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be animal. And if you want to uh, add like a specific uh, section here, uh, maybe I want to add a prompt here. So maybe I want to say this is going to be a cat. And from here, just click on generate here. Now, if you get this pop up here, it's going to request you to basically use their pro version. Now, with any platform, it's going to have a pro version. So meaning if you use a pro version here, you're going to have more perks into it. So maybe you want to click on upgrade pro here. And as you can see, it already has like $108 for one year or $13 for one month. Now, if you want to start using it, just follow the steps here and you'll be able to start using it. Now, in this case, maybe I want to show you the pricing here so right now they have free here which is zero us which you could use it anytime but there are going to be limitations on it like for example the on crop swap background removal image upscaler here clean up and a lot more now they go they're going to give you the option for high resolution here if you're going to use the pro version that they have right now now if you want to use their api here this is some kind of some, uh, something different so you need to directly contact their business or their company for you to get a pricing for it because it's actually customized into what your needs on that specific product or in that specific software now let's just go back here in clip drop and i want to show you a last tool that you could use here so maybe we want to try uncrop here so let's just click on uncrop and from here we just need to basically upload an image that we want to use so maybe we want to say we want to upload this image here and we want to uncrop this image now, maybe we want to resize it in a way that is a lot bigger here, but not too much. Make it a lot bigger at the top. And from here, let's just click on next. Now, once we click on next, it's going to start generating the outer sections that we specified on that specific image. Now, in this case, let's just wait for it to load up properly. But once it loads up, you should be able to see the images at the bottom section here. So sometimes when you try generating images or using other the other features here that they have right now, sometimes it's going to give you the R service has been under heavy demand. Please try again in a few minutes. Now, since we only we are only using the free version here, so every time the platform itself is under heavy use, you may, you might get this notification here. Now, if you get this one, you have to try again later on if you want to use a specific feature here. But in this case, if you really want to use it, just wait for a few minutes and try again. But yeah, so that's about it. So that's how you use ClipDrop AI. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.